Hello, welcome back to the Craft Scraps. I am Lauren and today is Black Friday. So today I thought what better way to spend this day than to put together a super easy basic crafter slash Cricut gift guide. So the focus of today's video is to either build your own Christmas list to treat yourself or to buy something for the crafter or Cricuter in your life. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you always get notified when I post a new video. So let's get into the gift guide. All right, so the first gift I wanna talk about is the Mac Daddy gift. So if you are looking to spend some money on someone else or on yourself, then I would recommend a Cricut machine. I have the Cricut maker behind me. I'm not gonna pull it out like the cords in this situation. My Cricut maker I've had for a few years now and it is chef's kiss. I guess that's like what everybody's saying now. Chef's kiss. So the Cricut maker, number one gift. But, 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 not to be outdone. If you are looking for a, something a little bit more affordable, the Explore Air 2 Cricut is just as good as the maker. There's a few things that the maker can do that this can't do just because it doesn't have the adaptive tool technology that the maker does. I did a whole review that I'll link up there and down there about about the differences between the machines. Oh, this is getting heavy. But the Cricut Explorer Air 2 is just as good as the maker. Honestly, if I didn't have the maker, I would still be able to do pretty much everything that I do using the Explore Air 2. Too. And I think there are some deals going on with the machines right now at Michael's, Joann's, Target. I've seen a ton of different sales on them right now, today. I don't know how long the sales are going to be going on for. This isn't necessarily a Black Friday video, it's just kind of a gift guide in general. If you have a budget to spend, definitely recommend a Cricut machine, either the Explore or the Maker. So while we're on the topic of machines, the next gift I want to talk about is a Easy Press. If you or the crafter that you're buying for likes to do t-shirts, things like that with iron-on, definitely would recommend a Easy Press. One that I have, Joe got this for me last Christmas, and this is the Easy Press 2 in their largest size. Love my Easy Press. Love, love, love. The nice thing about the Easy Press 2 is it comes in a different sizes. So this one honestly, I love Joe to death, but this one is honestly sometimes a little bit too big. Like it's just like a monster. So the other smaller sizes would work just as well. And they also have this little baby, this little mini, mini, I think they actually call it the mini press. I love this thing, especially for doing really small projects where I don't want to like bust out this huge monster. This is perfect. And I have a bunch of videos using this as well that I'll link in case you want to see it actually in action. But I love this little guy. If you are looking to buy an easy press for either yourself or someone else, I would also not sleep on getting a Cricut mat. In the beginning, I definitely was like, you don't need this, da, 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 da. And then people would scream at me in the comments that it would make my projects look a lot better and come out like a lot e more evenly pressed. And they were not wrong. This definitely has changed the game for my heat pressing. Everything is super even, super flat. So definitely would recommend if you're getting a easy press, I would definitely couple it with a heating what is this called? An easy press pad or whatever. Or if they already have an easy press and they don't have one of these, maybe one of these would be a nice little stocking stuffer. Okay, so next idea is some Cricut mats. So I have my 12 by 12 here and my 12 by 24 here. Absolutely cannot have enough mats. I know we can clean them, but I have a, so many mats up there that are just, I just don't want to take the time to clean them because I'm lazy. But Definitely could always use more mats. If someone were to get me a new Cricut mat, I would be super, super excited. This is my go-to mat. The Light Grip is the one I use all the time. But if you're looking for something a little with a little more variety, they do have variety packs. I've seen at Michael's where they have the Light Grip, the Standard, and the Purple. And then they have the same with these 12 by 24 mats, which are amazing if they like to do big projects or they just want the option to have a big piece of vinyl on here, 
I love my 12 by 24 mat. Okay, so the next gift that would make a great stocking stuffer or like if they just kind of have everything or they're just getting started with their Cricut, a new tool set, amazing. So when I first got my Cricut, I bought this tool set from Michaels. It comes with everything you see here. So this is this I bought new, but it comes with a weeding tool. It comes with a weeding tool, tweezers, this little spatula, little scissors, and a little scrapey thing. And it all, this one also came with like a big paper cutter that I don't really use that much, honestly. But I think they have a set where it just comes with these five things and definitely recommend investing in for yourself or for somebody else. This would make a great stocking stuffer, these tool sets, especially if they are just starting out with their Cricut or they're looking to get into Cricuting. These tools I've had for years and they've definitely like stood the test of time. These four, this one I bought new because I lost my other one, but tools are a must. So a couple of other things that actually I don't have, so they're on my Christmas list, is a foil quill. If somebody has been Cricuting for a long time and you don't know what to get them or you're looking for something a little bit different, that they might not have that I want to get to try so bad and honestly a hundred I don't hundred percent like understand it yet because I haven't gotten my hands on it but I definitely want one to try out also something I don't have but I want to look into getting is one of those Michaels cart like I think they're called the Lexington cart things I'll put a picture of one on the screen I really, really want one of those carts. So, mom, if you're watching, gift ideas. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about as a gift is blanks. So when I say blanks, I mean things that are blank that us cricketers, crafters can put vinyl on or HTV on or whatever. These glasses and mug I got from the dollar store. So everything's a dollar. And these are my all time favorite wine glasses. They are like the best. They're super like, they're big. They're super sturdy. I love these glasses. So if you're looking for kind of a unique stocking stuffer idea and you know someone is super into like designing mugs or glasses or using vinyl in general, would definitely recommend getting them some blanks to have some fun with. All right, and next, this is like random. And this video is not sponsored whatsoever. This is just me just kind of like putting together what I would want for Christmas. I recently got the Anti Tay Bubble Journal and I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to get into that. Well, I've already gotten into it, but it doesn't technically like start until 2021, so I haven't been able to do too much with it yet. I just love this bullet journal or bubble journal so much. It's so much fun. I can't wait to get into it. So if you are buying for someone or you yourself just like to get organized or want to get organized in 2021, I love this bubble journal because it is like half structured for you and then half you can totally let loose and get creative with it. For the bubble journals, you can use my code, the craft scraps, all lowercase to get 25% off or they, she has so many products on her website that are like just a crafter's dream. She has bling, she has glitter, bubble journals, vinyl, transfer tape, so much stuff. You can always use my code, the craft scraps, all lowercase to get 10% off as well. So bubble journal would definitely add to your Christmas list or maybe um, buy for someone else if they're looking to get organized in 2021. Another gift that is gonna seem super random, but I don't know if you can see behind me, but the, so the vinyl in it is beautiful as well, but these holders here are awesome. They're from Ikea. They're actually plastic bag holders, but they double as a vinyl storage for us crafters who, you know, we don't need them for plastic bag storage. So I always get questions about where these are from. They're from Ikea. They're relatively inexpensive. I don't know exactly how much they are off the top of my head right now, but I'll link everything below. We definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting those, especially if you have someone or you yourself have no clue how to store your vinyl rolls. This is it, girl or boy. All right, so that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys got some good gift inspiration for the loved ones in your life or for you yourself if you are trying to build your own Christmas list or just to treat yourself this season. As always, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting and happy holidays.